What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today I am partnering up with Sir Colors to show you their brand new Heavenly Bodies nail polish collection. And I'm also going to be showing you a re-release of one of their fundraising polishes, so I'll do that at the end. But really quick, if you haven't heard of Sir Colors before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US and all of their products are 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients and they're are also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. And they just released their new Heavenly Bodies nail polish collection, which is six constellation themed nail polishes, and they're all magnetic, which to me gives off a very cosmic vibe. They also have two new sets of nail charms with this, which I'm also going to be showing you. I am going to be showing you all of the magnetic polishes in both the cat eye style, which is where you get a solid line of magnetic pigment, and also in the aura style, which is a way I like to do it where you just hover the magnet around your nail and it creates this really cool three-dimensional marble kind of effect. So let me show you the swatches of the Heavenly Bodies polishes first, then I will show you the nail charms, then we can get into the Do Good polish, their fundraising polish, and then we'll talk a little bit more about pricing and availability. So let's go ahead and roll the footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I'm using the Cirque base coat, so I'll link it down below. So we'll go in a sort of rainbow order here. This first shade is called Perseus and this is a really gorgeous red magnetic polish. It's actually a little bit similar to the shade Sachet from their winter release, but this is a magnetic version and the sparkle in it is a little bit more pronounced. So I was very excited about this one because I absolutely loved Sachet and you guys probably know I absolutely love magnetic polishes. So very excited to see this one in the collection. It's really just a sort of classic red color. There's this almost duochrome pinky orangey shimmer in there and that's what's magnetized. What I like to do for my magnetic polishes is I will apply two coats for full coverage and then I'll do a third coat to magnetize. So while the third coat is still wet, I'll hover my magnet over it and I do that for about 30 to 60 seconds until I am satisfied with that nice sharp cat eye line and it just gives a really cool three-dimensional effect and in this polish, you could see it almost turns into a jelly, which I also love. So it's really the best of everything here. But I also want to show you the aura style, which is where you paint on your third coat while it's still wet. You hover the magnet around your nail and you want to face the magnet so that the label is up and you basically just move it around your nail until you get that 3D effect. Now, I personally like to make mine as dramatic as possible, so you can make it a little bit more subtle, but I usually try to move the magnet around until it looks almost comically bright. And you can see that here, basically all of that red kind of moves to the back and then the front of the manicure is just all of that really intense magnetic pigment. And you can see it just looks very strongly pink here, but around the edges it also looks a little bit orangey gold and it is just stunning and super three-dimensional and it's really fun. Next up we have the shade Lyra and this one is a medium brown metallic polish but there's something about it that's a little bit extra and I can't quite put my finger on it. I feel like around the edges I almost see a little bit of like a yellowy green tinge to it and I think that just makes it feel a little bit more unique. And of course we've got that silver magnetic pigment running throughout so I did two coats for full opacity and honestly this one on its own unmagnetized is is really gorgeous. I feel like it's just the perfect blend of a neutral color with a little bit extra sparkle in it. But of course I did want to magnetize it because I love magnetic polishes. I think they're just so much fun and they really add a level of excitement to a polish. And I feel like it's also very much like doing nail art, but without having to do nail art. So it's really just a very simple way to amplify your nails. So here's what it looks like in the cat eye version. Again, it sort of created this jelly-like background and that very intense line of pigment. And with the Aura style, this actually reminded me a little bit of the Cirque Aura collection that came out, I believe a couple of years ago, because those were all these soft neutral kind of shades with this intense silvery pigment. And I loved that collection. And I feel like this is almost a little bit of a callback to it, but you can see, again, I like to magnetize it. So it's really intensely bright on the nail and that 
magnetic pigment almost just looks white when you have it magnetized this intensely. And of course it's very three dimensional. So when you move your nail around, you can actually see all of that gorgeous brown in the background too. Moving on, we have the shade that I was the most excited about in the collection. This one is called Lynx. And I want to describe this one as an ugly, pretty polish, but honestly, I don't even think this constitutes as an ugly, pretty. I think it's just pretty. It's this really interesting chartreuse green. And then the magnetic pigment running throughout is almost this orangey gold color. So actually in the first coat, it was a little bit sheer. So it looked a little bit more into that chartreuse yellow color. But as I built it up to full coverage, it got more of a lime green coloring to it. Now, I think that's just because I have very warm undertones. So I can warm up a polish a little bit if it's sheer, but I think it looks absolutely stunning full coverage. So I wanted to do the cat eye style first. And I was really curious to see how this would translate because the magnetic magnetic pigment in here isn't silver. It's that orangey gold kind of color. And there's just a little extra fleck of sparkle going on in there as well. And I was absolutely blown away by how this looked in the cat eye magnet. It did create that sort of jelly like look, but it also created multiple levels of magnetization. So you could see there was almost like a more lime green around the cat eye and then a warmer green around the edges. So I thought that was really cool and intense. Definitely very different from any magnetic polish I've used before. So again, I wanted to do it in the Aura style as well, just out of curiosity to see what it looked like. And I think it completely changed the tone of the polish because once I brought all of that magnetic pigment to the front, I feel like it looked so golden orange, almost even into brown. It reminded me a lot of like a shimmering snake scale. And I thought this was so cool. I imagine this would be very cool for some kind of dragon nail art, but I'm not sure quite how I would do it. Maybe draw in little dragon scales and then magnetize it. Ooh, that would be so cool. And because Cirque knows what the people want, they blessed us with another green polish in this collection. Nothing excites me more than seeing two greens in one nail polish collection, but this one is a completely different vibe from Lynx, which I really appreciate. It's called Draco and it is this black jelly with an intense green magnetic shimmer running throughout. So you can see it was actually a little bit sheer in the first coat, but it did give me nice coverage in the second. I knew it was going to be that sort of jelly like finish. So I ended up just doing the two coats for full opacity. And then I went in with my third coat to magnetize. And I think with shades like this, there's just something so deep and mysterious about them. It almost feels like a forest kind of manicure where you're just really deep into the woods. And there's something about that black jelly that almost has, and maybe it's because I'm a little bit warmer toned. It almost has a brownish vibe. So it really, lends itself to this kind of woodsy tree feeling. So here's what it looked magnetized and oh my gosh, super stunning. Again, just really deep and vampy and I absolutely loved it. So again, wanted to go in with the aura style as well. And I just find it so interesting when a polish has a unique magnetic color because it really can transform the polish. Now I know not everybody can see the aura style, but it's really hard to explain and it's it's really hard to understand exactly what it looks like until you're seeing it on the nails because it almost reminds me of those marbles where the design is kind of on the flat bottom, but then there's a little bubble over it. I don't think that makes any sense, but what I'm saying is all of the magnetic pigment either goes to the top or the bottom and it just looks different any way you move your nail around. So you can even see when I'm lifting my nail up, it looks almost silvery green, but when my nail is pressed down, it looks almost yellowish green. Moving on, we have the shade Delphinus, and this one I would say is probably the most unique in the collection. And I wasn't even totally sure what it was comprised of until I saw it magnetized because looking at it head on, it almost just looks like a silvery slate blue. But what it actually is, is this deep navy blue jelly. And then we have what seems to be a duochrome magnetic shimmer. So head on, that shimmer looks like a 
purpley silver kind of color but around the edges you see orange into gold and then even at extreme angles and you can kind of see it around my cuticles it looks a little bit greenish so even on its own unmagnetized I think it looks absolutely stunning and personally I do wear magnetic polishes unmagnetized sometimes because I think they're just so pretty but it's really cool to be able to kind of mix and match and choose when you want to magnetize your nails but once I did this cat eye I was absolutely blown away that deep blue color has such a warmth to it and it's so spacey and cool I cannot get enough of it and magnetized it's such a completely different vibe from how the polish looks without any magnetization so it really feels like you're getting two entirely different polishes is in one bottle and once I did that aura style as well I felt like it felt completely different too because this almost turned it into a silvery icy blue kind of color almost veering into white again super three-dimensional super eye-catching so there is really a lot of unique ways to wear this polish and I feel like this is just exactly what it is I love about magnetics, how transformative they can be. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Cassiopeia, and this one is another really unique magnetic polish. So we've got this purple jelly base, and then we've got this intense blue magnetic pigment running throughout and again just a really gorgeous color on its own. I love that very soft jelly-like quality to it but what I really love in a polish and I've said it so many times before but I just can never get over having a warm base with a cool shimmer or a cool base with a warm shimmer and this is exactly that. That purple color is just so warm and that shimmer is so cool and the contrast is gorgeous. So once I magnetized it, I knew that it was going to look really cool and different on the nails. You definitely see that strong jelly-like color coming through. If you're not a huge fan of the jelly, you can do three coats for coverage and then magnetize your fourth coat. But you know me, you know I absolutely love it. So I thought it looked perfect this way. I also wanted to do my aura style, of course. And again, you can really play around with the magnet and see how intense you want to make it but I knew that I wanted it to be so vibrant and almost white on the nails so you can see it is just really intense there's the hints of blue in there but then when you don't see the magnetic pigment at certain angles it just looks intensely purple and again you're just getting so many different styles of polish in one so it's really fun to play around with and it's really mesmerizing on the nails so now let's move on to the starry night charms there's two different sets we've got the gold and we've got the silver so I'll show you the gold first there's definitely a lot going on in here and a lot of different options so there are these gold star outlines there are these little eight pointed star designs as well and then we've got little bars and silver rhinestones. So what I was really excited about to see with these is these star outlines, the five pointed stars are actually slightly curved. So if you have smaller nails like me, they are absolutely perfect for that. And I think they're thin enough that you can even bend them a little bit more if you have a very strong C curve to your nails. So I thought that was a really great touch. I feel like I could also potentially cut these in half with a scissor and have them going off the nail. So so definitely appreciate the thoughtfulness of that. And then of course we have the silver version, which is basically the same thing. We've got the star outlines, we've got the bars, and then we also have the larger eight pointed star design and the silvery rhinestones in there. And honestly, there are so many ways to play around with these. So I really enjoy the different types of looks you can get. Even just the two designs I'm showing you, one of them is very intense and dark and almost like leather jacket looking whereas the other one I thought was very soft and light and neutral so there's really endless combinations you can do which is just really fun and creative again a way to do nail art without having to do freehand designs on your nails so here is a look at all of the polishes from the heavenly bodies collection so like I said there are six of them but I wanted to show you what they looked like in both magnetization styles so we've got the cat eye style and the aura style for each color and just looking at this chart I absolutely love the story here I love the different ways to magnetize seriously it looks like 12 
12 different polishes here and you even get more options if you don't want to magnetize them so I think that's really fun. Lately I have just been loving the Aura style so much because it's really easy to do and I think it lasts a long time. One thing I do experience with the cat eye magnet is that over the days that you wear the manicure it is slowly going to disperse throughout your nail. One way to keep the magnetic line really sharp for longer is after you apply your top coat you want to hold the magnet over the nail again for another 60 seconds and that's just going to pull all of the magnetic pigment together until that top coat dries and I find that that makes my magnetic pigment last a lot longer. So if you want that sharper line for longer then you definitely want to do that but I find that the aura style tends to last for a really long time as well and I think it's just so mesmerizing on the nails so I can never stop doing it but I'm really curious which magnet style you guys prefer. Do you tend to do the cat eye more or do you tend to do the aura style more? Also just a quick note magnetic pigment never expires so there's never going to be a point where your polish isn't magnetic anymore so no need to worry about that. Now before we get into the pricing and availability I also want to show you the Cirque Colors Do Good polish. It's called La Vie en Rose and this is actually a re-release of a polish that they already did for their Do Good series. Basically they do these in incredible fundraising polishes that benefit various organizations. This shade in particular, La Vie en Rose, is a shade that benefits Planned Parenthood of Greater New York and it is a really beautiful thermal polish in its cold state, which is what it looks like right now. It's this gorgeous deep vibrant orchid color and we've got a little bit of a silver hollow sparkle running throughout and then in its warmer state it looks like this almost blush light pink neutral kind of shade. It actually gives me really great coverage in two coats but when I'm working with thermals I always like to do one thin extra coat just to make sure because sometimes in the lighter state the polish will look a little bit more sheer. So here's what it looks like in three coats. I've got some warm water on the right side and I've got some cold water on the left side just so you can see that shift but it does actually change on the nails throughout the day. They're very sensitive to color change so washing your hands, working out, showering, all of these things are going to change the way that your nails look and I always find that some of my nails stay cold and some of them stay warm so it always looks like I've got a natural gradient on my nails but if you have longer nails it also creates a little bit more of a gradient look on the nails and that is really awesome as well. So so I can never get enough of these thermal polishes. I think they're just so much fun to play with. And whenever I'm wearing them, I always find myself trying to trigger that color change. And what I really love about the Do Good polishes is it feels like I am donating to a cause and then getting a free polish for it. So definitely love the Do Good series, love Lovey and Rose, and I'm so glad they brought it back. So yeah, those are all the polishes in the new collection. And honestly, I absolutely love them. You guys know I have been so into magnetic polishes lately. I just think it's such a fun way to to do nail art. I also love the versatility of magnetic nail polishes. It really feels like you get multiple different colors in one because you can wear the polish as it is unmagnetized. You can also wear it with the cat eye style. You could also do the aura style and there's even a few other styles. So all the polishes come in 11 milliliter bottles. They do have a round skinny brush although Cirque has recently released a replacement brush that is a wide flat brush. The Heavenly Bodies polishes retail for $14.50 cents USD each. The nail charms retail for $8.50 USD each and they also have an option where you can bundle a set so you can get all six polishes in the new collection as well as one of the charms. You can choose either the gold or the silver and then you would get 10% off so that would be everything for $85.95 USD. We also have the re-release of their Do Good Polish La Vie and Rose and that one retails for $16.50 USD and like I said this is a fundraising polish that benefits Planned Parenthood of Greater New York. Also, I have some incredibly exciting news. I officially have an affiliate code with Sir Colors now, which means if you use the code Kelly10 at checkout, you get 10% off of your Sir Colors purchases. So I'm going to link everything down in the
the description. You can check that out if you're interested. But like I said, I absolutely love these. I love magnetic polishes. I love the colors that are coming out in these magnetic formulas. And I think Search just really has a great handle on coming up with creative colors. So definitely loving all of those. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think of them. So definitely let me know in the comments which color is your favorite. What do you think of the magnetic polish trend going on right now? Which of the charms do you prefer? Actually, I feel like I'm always a silver jewelry person, but I tend to prefer gold charms. So I think that's pretty interesting. Is anybody else like me? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I've got new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I also have a second YouTube channel, my vlog channel, where I post a little bit more about my life behind the scenes. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocket Man's daughter, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Courtney. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Deanna Marie, and Deanna Marie wants to know, what were some of the other ideas you and Leah had before landing on the podcast idea? So if you didn't know, me and my bestie Leah, we have a podcast. It's on all streaming platforms. It's also on YouTube. It's called It's All Geek To Me, and it's actually not nail polish related at all. It is a reason for me to watch all of the movies that I've never watched. So if you watch my fun facts, you might know that I had never seen Lord of the Rings. I had never seen Star Wars. I've never watched The Matrix. There are so many very popular franchises that I never got to experience. And for whatever reason, I was just kind of holding on to that and not watching them. So we came up with this idea to have a podcast where I watch these movies for the first time and I predict what happens. So we're currently in our second season right now, which is Star Wars. And I am in the third trilogy right now. So I have seen the first two trilogies. And I have to say, I think it's crazy that I waited this long to watch Star Wars because I'm very into it. <laughs> but yeah, to answer the question, honestly, I don't know that we specifically had an idea to do a podcast. I think it just kind of came about because Leah is a really big fan of a lot of these franchises. I have never seen them or I had never seen them at the time. And she was always trying to convince me to watch them. And we thought mutually that it would be a very funny idea if we just made a podcast about it because we both already make content on the internet. So we figured it was just kind of like a natural step to do a little side project. I feel like in the past we've probably casually talked about doing something together before, but we didn't really have any particular ideas. It was just something that we wanted to do for fun that we figured other people could join us for. I think it's pretty silly. <laughs> I probably shouldn't admit this because it's embarrassing, but I have been going back and listening to my predictions after I've watched the movies and I'm just cracking up because a lot of my predictions are really bad, <laughs> but some of them are actually spot on. So I'm kind of impressed with myself too, but yeah. So if you're interested in the podcast, like I said, I've got it linked up in the cards. And if you enjoy it, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. So you can let me know in the comments. And that is it. So I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.